You need to know why Rib wanted you to take the team. He knew I had a family. He knew I cared about them as much as I care about the team. He thought it would weigh on me. He was right. I still remember the quote he burned into me. Out of every 100 men, 10 shouldn't be in combat. 80 are just targets. Nine are real fighters. But one. One is a warrior. And he will bring the others back. When Rip leaves, we have this very, very big element who was kind of a father figure, especially for Calder and Bear. And he's gone now, and we have to learn how to function without him. Bear is uh, a strategist. He's a very truthful, honest man who will get his brothers home. Within that group, within that dynamic of that group, he makes the most sense to lead, I believe. It's an honor to take over from, from Rip in his absence. It's not a task that he takes lightly, but he starts to doubt whether he can do it when things start to unfold. The SEALs have often been portrayed as superheroes, uh, bulletproof and kind of infallible, and I think that does them a disservice. We wanted to really make the show nuanced and make them human and, and show that they're like us and that they lead and they have fears and they have you know hopes and dreams, and yet they go out and do this incredible job in this most amazing circumstances. And so that's what makes them heroes. I think what's, what's incredible about, you know, not these characters, but these guys in general, what they do is they're not alpha personalities or beta personalities, they're more gamma personalities. They can kind of lead or follow at the drop of a hat. Well, they have this great motto that's uh, ready to lead, ready to follow. Whoever your team leader chooses to be the team leader, that's a guy, and that's fine, and we just go with it. To bear the weight and, of the trident and, and to ensure his brothers are safe is something that Bear is incredibly proud of and something that he works very hard to ensure works. It's a lot of responsibility, it's an extra work, and I think that he is feeling Bear's struggle. He, he knows that he has a lot on his shoulders. There's a lot in his plate right now, and he just walks to him and just goes really, really blunt and straightforward like, it's you, man, because you're going to take us back home. So it's good. It's a good moment. You are the one, Joe. You will bring us home. You will bring Rip and those girls back. That's why you're a team leader, brother. Twenty-four hours ago, armed men assaulted a girl's school 80 miles northwest of Benin City, Nigeria. They also captured Richard Taggart, former troop chief at this command. 